how is the future made in Australia program sustainable and are we really addressing the root cause of why manufacturing left our shores? Manufacturing is what makes a country great. It's what builds independence, resilience and real prosperity, the kind that lasts for generations. Cadbury chocolates have been made in Hobart since 1922, but has to decide if it invests in its operations in Australia or overseas. Australia used to make things. Now more and more of our economy is being propped up by government spending instead of genuine productivity. Meanwhile, the people who do create real value, the manufacturers, the builders, the innovators, they're being punished by rising energy costs. Well, if we want to encourage uh, manufacturing and more economic activity in Australia, let's have lower energy costs. And unless you want food manufacturing to go the way of the car manufacturing and the dodo bird, you'd want to be doing something pretty fast and pretty serious. Ask any factory owner and they tell you the same thing. The cost of energy is killing us. Presented by Your Energy Answers. In just 20 years, electricity prices for Australian industry have more than tripled. And here's the crazy part. Australia has more sunshine and roof space than almost anywhere on earth. Across our cities, industrial parks and factory estates, there are millions of square meters of rooftops are just sitting there idle doing nothing when they could actually be generating clean, cheap power right there where it is needed. Now, some people say, oh, the answer is to build bigger wind and solar farms out there in the regions until you realize those sites are hundreds of kilometers from where actually the power is needed. So we built massive transmission lines to bring it back to the cities, cutting across farmland, blowing out budgets, sparking protests by farmers all along the way. And here's the kicker. Those lines cost billions. They take a decade to build, tripling cost, and every dollar of it ends up on your electricity bill. Let's create power where it's actually used right here in our cities, our suburbs, our industrial estates. If you're a manufacturer, don't wait for government or grid projects to fix the mess. My advice is make your own electricity. As I look around here on those warehouses surrounding us, there's a lot of solar on the roof. But then from time to time, you get to a warehouse, there's no solar, but they do manufacturing and other things underneath. And you kind of wonder, why the heck haven't they put solar on? And a lot of the reasons is that these roofs were not designed with solar in mind. They were built before solar came, and so therefore the structural integrity of the roof does not normally allow solar. But now there's a solution. Because Goodwe, a name you might have already known if you hear about solar for the inverters and batteries, they've come to the rescue with something completely new. They've developed a lightweight solar panel designed specifically for buildings that were never built to carry traditional solar. The very first company in Australia to install this system is a true blue Aussie manufacturer right on the Sunshine Coast. Energy cost is a big part of our operation, especially our captured operation here at the, um, the factories. Being a fabrication business, we run a lot of three-phase uh, welders. We run a lot of CNC machinery that operates three-phase and extrusion routers and flatbed routers and things like that. From a powder coating point of view, we run some large compressors to service our abrasive blasting operations because we can't grow as a company without the energy required to do what we do. We didn't have a solution that was effective to work across the group of factories that we operate. Right, so I've been out on the side. You've basically got various manufacturing hubs. They were built to go up relatively quickly and the structural loading of the roof, I mean, you don't get snow here, didn't really play a role, was no, it? No, it was never considered. I have experience in building these type of complexes as well and it was never considered 25 mm -hmm. years ago when these mm -hmm. things were being built. Now, the normal panels nowadays, when you look at them, they are 400, 440, even 480 watt. Yeah. Now, obviously, this is a much narrower panel. So from an efficiency point of view, it is actually very similar to normal panels, even so it's only like a 360 something coming out now. I think this is the first generation being 335s. Mm -hmm. So from an efficiency point of view, with this panel, you can actually get pretty well what normal solar systems can get. This has only been in for two weeks and using the SEMS portal, which is another good addition that we um, provide with the monitoring of this, being mm. able to monitor our output. This setup that we've got with the 90 kilowatts across the three factories will actually pay for itself within 12 months for us. So what Mark and his team at Infraco have achieved here is pretty special. 
A business that couldn't install solar because of roof limits is now generating its own clean energy, supporting its business, getting their prices down and cutting power bills by almost half. And it's all thanks to this new lightweight technology. I spoke with a guy who's been driving this innovation right here in Australia, Kang Ren from Goodwe. It's always great to have a product that looks like a winner because it really fills a niche, but it is difficult to educate the market, isn't it? It is, it's really difficult. I mean, like the initial stage where you want to make the awareness to the public audience there, like you do have the chances now where you're probably gonna facing a lot of difficulties of the rooftops, which deemed impossible. But now you can restart the conversation. Do you find it is saving time in the installation process? It's definitely, I mean, like when we are looking at the traditional ones, you do have the racking, you need to make sure you find the screw lines. Uh, that's why it's simple, put what we call the supportings underneath, and then we just glue them up. And right. then you just light them up, and then do the same with the panels, which potentially would save you about like 20% or 30% of the installation time. Then. Right. And that can be a big win. The next big question is, how do you actually install something like this? Because when you take away all the stuff that has the weight, which is the racking, the bolts, the ballast, all that stuff, you're talking about a completely different way of how to put that solar on the roof. So did you have to go through some little special training to actually get to learn how to do this? Yes, the team actually installed this project. They got a full training from the good way uh, how to install these panels have to follow exactly the process to, to install the system properly. One of the biggest complaints I hear from installers now is that the panels with 21, 22 kilos, but this one per square meter or so, I think it's only about what, five kilograms yeah, or so. That's correct. The whole panel here, it's only around nine kilo, but also like the speed to install these panels. You don't have to install the racking anymore. It's just the tube and the glue, and which is like, once you know how to do it, it's mm. pretty quick. I mean, the options are that you can actually strengthen the roof structure but the engineering cost and all of those costs um, far outweigh the costs of going with this panel, which will be a little bit more expensive than the mass produced frame panel. But overall, if you want solar and you have that roof issue, then this is much cheaper than actually try to go with an engineering solution and retrofit onto a new roof that has extra purlins installed or this and that. So if you're an owner of manufacturing, don't give up, get your prices down, go with solar and battery. In some cases, the payback is two or three years. And also nowadays with the battery rebate, get a battery added to it because what it will do, it smooths out the areas where you're gonna get charged a lot of money in the peak hours for that electricity. Because when businesses can generate their own energy, suddenly they're not waiting for the grid they can just get on with determining their own future. So if your installer says, sorry mate, can't be done, tell him to look at the Goodwee Galaxy Lightweight Panel. And if the installer still is a bit of a pain, go to our site and check out the 60 plus installers across Australia. Most of them have been around for 10 years. We vetted them, we worked with some of them for over 10 years. These guys, they will be able to assist you. So if you're interested, in the future of the whole energy game in Australia. Subscribe to our channel, maybe even buy a t-shirt and a merch to help us. Our future and your future depends on renewables being implemented, but we gotta do it smartly. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products tools and calculators and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.